Our spotlight features the Burger Picard. This is a herding dog and also a great companion dog. Today, our spotlight shines on the Burger Picard, pronounced that way in America. In France, it's the Berger Picard. This breed is rare even today. The Burger Picard is a lively, energetic, and affectionate dog that is still primarily used in France for herding. Listed in the herding dog group, the United Kennel Club recognized the Burger Picard on January 1, 1994. Now, if you've seen the movie Win Dixie, you've seen a Burger Picard. And joining me today to tell us about this unique breed is Donna Beetle and her dog, Honor. Welcome, Donna. Welcome. Hi. And Thank welcome, you. Honor. We've never seen in live a Winn-Dixie dog before. You are darling, just <laughs> darling. Well, it's a pleasure to have both you with us today, Donna. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about this breed. It's very intriguing so far. Yeah. Where were they bred and what were they bred to do? Uh, they come from the Picardy Plateau of France. Uh, they're the oldest sheep herding dog in France. Uh, they were bred predominantly to herd sheep, of course. And um, they're worldwide, there's only about 5,000 of these dogs. And here in the U U.S., there's only 250. Of which you have three. Oh, yep, I have two, three of them. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us again today, Donna, with, with honor. It's a pleasure to have this unique breed with us. Let's move on now to talk a little bit about the physical attributes. Mm -hmm. We like now that we know what they're bred to do, which is herding. They're a working dog. Let's mm -hmm. take a look at that physical structure and see how that all comes together. Great. Now it's time to learn more about the Burger Picard. Donna? Let us tell us, please. Uh, the Berger Picard stacks in the four-point stack. Um, you like a nice level back on the dog. The tail should come down and do a J at the end. That's a J hook tail, is what it's called. Um, the the face of the dog is they have very parallel planes here. Uh, they have ears that stick up so for to be alert with the dog, um, as well as they're very well muscled dogs. A little longer than tall but um, they can move real easily uh, to corner when herding sheep and such. They should have nice angulation in the back and they have a very long stride. Excellent. And that face is so cute. It's just a very cute face with those eyes. Yeah. Uh, do you clip the, does the hair need to be clipped in any way? Nope, there's no clipping or um, any stripping of the hair. It's at, this is absolutely the, how the dog looks at all times. Excellent. Thank you, Donna, and thank you, Honor, for letting us see more about the breed along with learning more about them. Now let's move on and talk a little bit about health issues. Mm -hmm. That's a critical aspect to every breed. We want to breed healthy dogs and avoid the health issues. So what would our viewers need to know, Donna, if they are going to be seeking out a breeder, especially with the uh, rare um, issue with this breed in this country today? What right. would they need to know to ask? Uh, some of the things that they should ask about with health is uh, hips and elbows. Uh, any herding dog, it's very important that the hips and elbows are x-rayed and certified clean uh, from OFA, the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals. Also with this dog, eye issues are bad, cataracts and retinal folds. So you want the dog to be surfed, it's called. It's C-E-R-F. Mm -hmm. um, those are the main issues with the dog. Um, because it's such a rare dog, not much is known about them. So that's most of the genetic testing that's done on them today. Um, but you also want to make sure their temperament. They have a very nice temperament. Um, they get along with other animals. It's very, very important with this breed to make sure that you go and visit the parents before you purchase. Excellent advice because then you know if you see the temperament and you see the parents and you like what you see there, mm -hmm. then you're very likely going to like the puppy right. as well. Right. Now, my reality check. It's mm -hmm. time to talk about the real deal. Sure. We're going to bring a uh, Burger Picard into our home. What do we need to know on a day-to-day -day basis for maintenance and overall care? Uh, this is a very, very stubborn breed, um, but they're also very sensitive. So you have to be firm with them, but you cannot be overly firm with them because they'll break down. Um, they're also, while they're great with their family members, they are also, they're very cautious of strangers. So if you're looking for a golden retriever type of temperament, you're not going to find that with this breed. They're going to be much more cautious of strangers. And that they, makes them the good guard dog? Right, exactly. Okay. And also they are great, but they need a lot of socialization. You need a, a beginning puppy class. You need a um, obedience class to really get this dog. You want to get them out and about as much as you can and socialize with other people and animals. Um, and their coats don't take a lot of maintenance, so that's the nice thing about them, and they do not smell. They don't smell, they don't no. shed. No, they do shed. They shed a lot. <laughs> they shed a lot, but um, they have very low maintenance. So you're only supposed to wash them a couple times a year. Ah, 
And they don't smell, even though you don't wash them very often. No, nope, they well, have no a, doggy odor. <laughs> a nice plus there, Honor. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't thank you enough for joining us today and telling us all about this breed. Where can our viewers go, since it is such a rare breed, Donna? Where can they go to learn more about them? Um, you can try my website at eclipsekennels.com or also northamericanbergerpicard.com. And you can find all the information and breeders of this dog. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us today. I want everybody to see this darling face. This is a cute dog. You know, when you watch Winn-Dixie, you just know, you just know that that's a, a fun dog. And here we have some treats for you, Honor. <laughs> These are Charlie Bear. They give us treats for all of our canine guests. Oh, and so thank you get you a very bag much. all for oh, yourself. <laughs> and this is for you. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us. Yes.